let's talk about the second electrical rating that is on the label. That is capacity. Capacity is the amount of energy that the battery can store. And if we have a look at this battery, we can see that it is a 60 amp hour battery. So how do they test that according to EN? So the test is carried out over 20 hours and a load is put on the battery and the battery must be above 10 and a half volts. So to get that result for a 60 amp hour battery, we need to put a three amp drain on it. So three amps over 20 hours equals a 60 amp hour battery. The same would happen if it was four amps over 20 hours, it would then be an 80 amp hour battery. Now this never used to be so important for older cars. They didn't need much capacity in the battery. But for newer vehicles with start stop and also long haul trucks, capacity is very important because it means the amount of time that they can run their electrical consumers before having to start the engine to charge the battery. When talking about cycle, this means the discharge and recycle of a battery. It's the same as with your smartphone. During the day, your battery is being discharged. During the night, you plug your phone into a charger to recharge the battery. This is the term cycle. The lifetime of a battery not only is affected by the number of cycles, but also by the depth of cycles. A 100% cycle will bring much more stress on a battery than a 10% cycle. For a conventional car without start-stop, the cycle is not a limiting factor. Whereas a car with start-stop, it becomes a very important topic. Why do you think that cycle life is important for a vehicle with start-stop or a long-haul truck? Well, a vehicle with start-stop, once the engine is shut down, has to power the radio, heated seats, your smartphone, and many other electrical consumers that the driver is not even aware about. These all put a large electrical load onto the battery while the engine is switched off. The same for a long haul truck. They have to deal while parked up with the fridge being on, the parking cooler, and possibly a co coffee machine too. The capacity is the amount of energy that is stored in the battery. The higher the capacity, the more energy that is stored in the battery and the longer that you would be able to listen to the radio or have some other consumers on. A lot of modern vehicles now will shut down consumers if the battery drain gets too high. Certain vehicles with aggressive start-stop systems or lots of accessories will require a battery with a high capacity. It is the EN standard that sets the C20. So please, when you're testing batteries, make sure that you test C20 against C20 and not against C5 or C50, as these are the incorrect standards.